Welcome Sagittarians. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. This is a quarter reading for the Sagittarian Sun, Moon and Rising sign. Okay, um, so Sagi, um, I see you ladies 50 years and older is in the reverse. Whatever is transpiring Sagittarian, you have to regain your balance. So ladies 50 years and older, I see um happily ever after but you are in the reverse your nine of cups is in reverse your star is in reverse and there is some issues that is affecting latest 50 years and older so ladies what is happening and transpiring some of you ladies had hope for a happiness ever after but this is now in reverse i see you sagittarian have some regrets so you can see that this um, this quartal is going to be some regrets for older Sagittarian. Younger Sagittarian are looking forward. Younger Sagittarians want to make the shift. Younger Sagittarians are looking for ways and means in order um, to open up your energy to um, change and make shifts in your lives. So the effect and focus is on the older sagittarian and ladies whatever is happening in transpiring um you have made some decision in the past and karma is here and you are repaying your karma so this is all that is happening to you um sagittarian women as that there was some decision that you have made in the past that is coming back in the future where you are um, needed to shift your energies and um, create a much better a sort of a, um, experience for you when it comes up to your work and your your uh, career and your finance. So I see you younger Sagittarian women are have, have, having a much better sense because you're, you're hoping, you're dreaming for something much better. Whatever that was transpiring for you older Sagittarian ladies is that... Uh, some situation, some um, decision you have made in the past, whether in business or work, you are now um, feeling this uh, karma that is as if a huge amount of karma is coming back that you have to clear in order to facilitate your long-term goals, okay? So I see um, um, a lot of you are going to be dealing with um, probably issues that is going to be coming up in um, this three months because of uh, issues and situations um, that was karmatic because your jobs and um, your work environment is a karmatic place so where you need to understand that you create karmas with this these people and you have to regain the karma that you have created with these people. So I see... Um, for you guys, it's, it's going to be a really um, um, uh, a three months of uh, seeing what you have done. Because if you notice, um, there is emotional regrets over some decision from the past um, that you are having. And this is only for the older ladies. So, so as we look at the um, first month of July, we see the first month of July you young people are looking towards the future. You want to create the future. And it is time for you young people in order to sit and um, make a plan towards your future. As you do that, you will be on site and target what it is that you want. Because this is definitely going to be changing your frequency in order for you to move forward so this is like really positive um energies that is coming up because you can see um that you sagittarians are thinking about creating a better future for you going forward and this is really going to be transpiring you're looking and, and trying to figure out the best plan the best um part the best opportunity the best movement forward and you're really sitting down and planning this as you get into the month of july as we look in the month of august we have uh, an um a situation where some of you have reached your goal and some of you have used um the tools that you have 
and have created wealth for yourself. So I see that some of you in the month of August is going to be very, very happy as to the decision and the direction that you took in order to create and your wealth and your goal. And if you notice, um, this is all of uh, the elements that you have around you and um, you have uh, gained higher wisdom and knowledge that you created something in your world. So July is going to be where you're putting the plan, you're setting up a plan uh, for yourself moving forward when it comes on um, to your business and finance and your work and career. And I see that in August, you're going to be receiving all the tools and using them to create this wonderful um, success in your world. And if you notice, you have and you are creating it in the month of August because there you can see as this card is reversed, you're seeing the pentacles and you're seeing that you use all the tools in order, the thoughts, the, um, the dream, you're manifesting it in reality. And here it is that it's coming up that you will have an happily ever after because you took the time to make your plans and create um, your financial wealth. And this is beautiful. August is really going to be a beautiful month. Um, a lot of people are not realizing that whenever a card is in the reverse is that you have already accomplished and manifested it. And now you're seeing the fruits of your labors that it is now in. As we look at the month of September, I see a lot of work, a lot of work. Um, I see um, the focus is shift and it's all about work. Um, for the older ladies, I see you regret at the end of this period. Um, you older ladies is going to be re regretting. But regrets is that you learn something and you have to find out what have you learned okay because you ladies are going to be regretting but what it is that you have learned what is the learning lesson from this period from the past how are you going to be moving forward in the future what direction you're going to be taking and as you notice a lot of you is going to be creating your own sense of wealth in your world and I see a lot of you are going to be having a lot of work to do. But I see the older ladies is going to be affected by some decision or that they have done or some actions that they have taken in the past. So here we are where we're facing ourselves or our karmas come back in order for us to resolve um, some form of a um, issue situation that was created in the past is as if some of you have made some decision whatever the decision is or was it was not the correct decision and I see some of you try to win and uh, win big but in order to do that you have created a lot of karmas for yourself and this is when um you know, at the beginning of the business channel, it says a new way of doing business, quantum healing, a new way of doing business. It is um, um, the quantum business channel. It's because we're changing the way we do business. And I think that this is the bigger lesson for you women 50 years and older, because the way you had been doing business or the way you have been um, as a manager, as a supervisor, as a, um, a co-worker, was, um, it was all about winning. And now um, you Sagittarius is finding out that uh, it brought me only pain now and you have to deal with that pain moving forward. So how do we um, realign ourselves? We're going to be stepping back, looking at the problem, um, looking at the decision, and now we are going to be going forward, creating better possibilities and better decisions in our world. So for the rest of you Sagittarians, it is going to be really a happy ever after. It is going to be a really positive portal where you're going to be creating your own wealth, where you took whatever you had in your hands and you use it in a very 
positive way in order to create your own wealth. And this is really positive because what we see is that you are creating the wealth now. And as you go further in the year or further in the month, by the time you get to your birthday, um, Jupiter will be back in your birthday um, um, chart. And this is going to be bringing you wealth. So this was like a year of uh, a year of uh, um, creating wealth, um, healing your karmas with other people. So what we're seeing that is transpiring is that a lot of you is going to be having a busy, busy September. Um, and this busy September is going to be creating a lot of financial abundancy for you moving forward. So as you get to your birthday in December, um, you know, that portal is going to be coming out. So it's going to be showing a different shape of energy because some of you are going to be using this portal in order to create your wealth going forward. And this is going to be good because what we're seeing here is that there is a transition that is going to be taking place. Transition where multiple um, opportunities is going to be opening up for you, Sagittarians. So it's as if you're clearing karma with people, people on the work floor, your job situation, you're creating karma. Now, um, the people to look out for in this portal is the Aries. you got to be on top of your game with the Aries. Um, I see... Um, a lot of you are going to be having these good ideas. Put them in um, the, the working so you can go have good ideas. But only, if you only think about the ideas and don't try to um, get them in the working, then it's not going to be helping you. So there is going to be a lot of uh, good ideas coming in, especially in the month of August for you Sagittarians. And as you use these ideas in order to move forward, um, it is going to be... Um, shifting your financial flow in a very, very positive way. Some of you, you got to stay away from the scorpions. Whoever the scorpions is, you got to stay away. The problem is that some of you had some issue with a scorpion and a Pisces. And this is the reason why you end up in this flow of energies. Because um, you have, because of winning, winning is something that um, some people will win. Um, if you win, someone else is going to lose. But um, winning something, it's about doing the right thing. Okay, so it's about you taking back your energy and saying, you know, um, give me a clean hands and a pure heart. So whatever you do, you are going to be doing it from integrity. And it is a form of some of you have gone over um, and, and, you know, just sh push the ship of energy with the integrity. And this is what have affected you older ladies. If you notice that men are not here, and this is good because Sagittarians, men seems to do business in um, the correct way. They will not overbounce themselves. And if Sagittarius men do that, they will go back and correct themselves. So it is a situation where uh, some of you Sagittarian women once um, in the past to do something in order to have this big win. But this big win, um, you didn't really um, have this win because of now you're seeing what is coming back and how it is affecting you. So we need to make um, better choices, better, healthier choices, um, especially the women uh, 50 years and older. You need to make better choices because some choices that you have made in the past with a scorpion and a Pisces have turned out not to be functional for you. And if you notice, the month of August is going to be good. So use the month of August in order to revamp whatever that you have done and clear your karmas so that as you reach your birthdays in December, you can accumulate um clearing just the karmas and just focusing and, f and focusing on who you are and focusing on the right positive energies going forward. So it is all about um, shifting your energy in a very positive way, changing the way you 
um, do business and changing the way um, you work and you work with integrity and you're coming from whatever decision you're going to be making is from integrity and this is going to be helping you guys so um it is just a karmatic lesson it is karma that you women 50 years and older is working on for the rest of you i see you're going with the flow the flow is really positive because we have the energy of the magician and the energy of the star and these are aquarian people that could be coming in and is going to be helping you and guiding you in the right direction um on the right part further so however you look at this it is a lesson it is a time where you're learning and repaying your karmatic lesson um and you know it is just that you need to realize that i need to make um better decision in my life as i go forward because of the decision i have made in the past um i've created and brought me in a, a, a difficult position because here you are missing out on something would have been good for you ladies but you're missing out on it because of something that was made and you have to clear your karmas because each and every one of us uh, create karmas and we just have to clear our karmas so as you move forward some of you could be dealing with an aquarian person whoever this aquarian person is and whatever is transpiring you're dealing with an aquarian woman aquarian gemini or libra person whoever this person is this person is as if uh, um they're being you're being liberated from this person so it could have been a supervisor it could have been a career uh you could have been a doctor a surgeon and you're deciding to go the alternative route um you could have you're going to be um you could be going back to educate yourself in order to create um positive uh, um, situation for other people so however this is happening and transpiring is that some of you could be deciding to go and re-educate yourself however this is happening and transpiring so you gotta be aware of uh, the decision that we make and um just hold on um it is going to be okay it is just that you are cleaning karmas at this moment so I'm going to be leaving it here. I'm going to go on the other side. If you guys want to come along, um, you can use the link below this video in order to access um, my website where you could buy these readings. Three readings or 15% off. What you can look at is the three, the first um, two last extended, which um, you can use in order to see what was happening because the extended shows up what is happening what is about to come and this will guide you on your part so as i'm gonna say um and i'm gonna leave it here so i wish you guys a really wonderful third quarter please share these um reading and um come back whenever you're feeling